What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Fro, and my goal is to find the best atmosphere in the MLS. Today, we visit in Austin, Texas, to watch Austin FC take on in-state rivals, FC Dallas. <laughs> The rubric I'm using to find the best atmosphere in the MLS is I'm ranking the stadium, the supporter section, the crowd, and the quality of football out of 10 and coming up with a composite score at the end to see which team reigns supreme. This week, we got Austin FC as they take on in-state rivals, FC Dallas. Let's see where it goes down. So you already know, man, we FC Dallas, so I got me a ticket in the way section. I know everybody wanted me to go to the supporter section. Because I'm an FC Dallas fan, I'm going to try to be 100% neutral, like on everything and like on the whole experience, you feel me? Aside from the actual game, I'm going I'm to go in everything with like an open mind. So the stadium was a unique one. From the back, it ain't really look too, too appealing. It kind of looked makeshift like a recyclable stadium. It looked like they threw a snow sled on top of that hoe. I had to walk around to try and get like a better view. And from the front, it, 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 it look a little bit prettier, you know. It's a nice tie between modern and traditionalistic. You know, you got the modern glass look. And then behind it, you just got straight traditional regular stadium. Pre-game festivity-wise, they didn't really have too much. They had a social area outside the stadium, turf plastic around different stands and stuff you could get drinks or that was passing out free peanuts but it really wasn't nothing to write home about the inside of the stadium was very generic there's nothing really much to say about it it's a green regular traditional soccer stadium bro <laughs> now the team store is what ended up impressing me this item store literally it has everything anything you need Austin FC they got blankets they got neck warmers they got dog toys they got chapstick they got shoes Anything you name, keychains, jerseys, of course. This is not your average team store, it's two floors. We literally on the second floor right now. The team store legit, bro. What's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? Now we finna make our way to our seats and this is where the discrepancy starts because like I said, I'm sitting in the away section, which was filled with FC Dallas supporters beating on drums and playing instruments. So it was very hard to get a feel or hear or get a vibe from Austin supporter section and Austin's crowd. Austin's supposed to be doing a ceremony or something.
but they ain't been able to capitalize just yet. I do think, by the way, the first half went, they are gonna be able to get them a goal. I'm probably finna try and change my seat or try and walk around so I can get like a better view of the supporter section and the crowd in general. Because you can hear it in the video behind us, the FC Dallas fans, hey, shout out there, boys, but they loud as hell. You cannot hear anything. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer to like hear Austin crowd, Hear the supporter section, hear what they saying, so I can get like a fair judgment. Take a half to start it. Let's see. So during this moment, I was still trying to get footage of the game, like different angles and stuff. And I was finna walk around to the other side of the stadium to try and get a better angle. And I told my girl, I said, the minute we move from this spot, somebody go score. And guess what the hell happened? FC Dallas, goddamn score! Ah. Oh, FC, I told, what did I tell you, bro? But he ran to the side and celebrated with the away fans and everything, bro. I was supposed to be up there, bro. Damn. Not only did I miss the FC Dallas goal, but Austin scored right after that. As I moved around, I was getting footage of the supporter section. As soon as I moved around to get some more footage, boom, go. Moved again, boom, go. I missed both goals, bro. I'm pissed, fool. God damn. At least I got the crowd reaction, I guess.
All right, now that concludes the weekend at Austin FC. Now to start the rankings, we starting off with the stadium. Q2 Stadium, I'm going to have to give it a 7.5. It's a hybrid of modernism and traditional design, and I'm not really too sure I like that aesthetic. Inside was pretty generic, but it, it worked. The green touch is nice, and I love the stadium effects and the lights. I will say, I feel like they should work on their pregame amenities and stuff to do outside the stadium before the game starts to give the crowd who get there early a little something more to do. Supporter section. I give Austin FC a 9.1. Finally, somebody has a T4. Although the T4 was a little bit, you know, you know what I'm saying, underwhelming. It was kind of lame. It was small. It's the thought that counts, though. They had a whole wall to themselves. It was packed to the brim. The section was so vibrant and energetic that I could feel that energy all the way across the stadium in the away fan section. And unfortunately, because of that, I really couldn't hear a lot of their songs and chants. But when I did get closer, I will say, considering their size, they should be way louder than they was. Y'all better check some of the people in y'all supporter section now. I don't think boys know the lyrics. I seen a lot of people jumping up, dancing and stuff, but I ain't see a lot of people moving their mouths. Quality of football, I give Austin FC a six. Yes, they did come out here and dominate FC Dallas, but FC Dallas is not a good football team right now. This is Austin FC's first win. They've been on a tough stretch. Would they be able to keep this up? We'll see. To be determined, they star players did show up and show out. Drew Easy he got him an assist. He got player of the match, I'm pretty sure. They played an entertaining brand of ball. Dominated possession time, 70% to 30. It wasn't like they was parking the bus. They was actually attacking, getting them shots up on target. A lot of opportunities created. They ended up scoring two goals. It wasn't in spectacular fashion, though. But a goal is a goal at the end of the day. If I was basing it just off of this game's performance, then it would be higher. It would be more like a 7.5. But I got to start taking overall performance and everything into account. Austin FC is at the bottom of the standings in the MLS. And last but not least for the crowd, I'm going to give him a 7.8. It's basically a upper tier, bare bones, MLS crowd. You celebrate when a team score. You boo when something you don't like happens on the field, but nothing really too out of the ordinary happened. I am impressed by the attendance numbers. The stadium was damn near sold out. It holds like 20,000 something, and the attendance was 20,000 something, so they did a good job packing it out. But I just feel like y'all need some coordinated chance. I didn't even hear a let's go Austin. Like, that's the most bare bones thing you can say. The only Thing I heard they got the whole stadium on one accord is when y'all score and a uh, announcer said the first name of the player and then the crowd said the last name and everybody said it so y'all had the participation so I just don't understand why y'all need to get together and 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 and, and, and get that whole rocking man. So overall, Austin FC comes down with a total composite score of a 7.6, which moves it in third place on my list behind Atlanta United and Inter Miami. Next weekend we going to Los Angeles, California. LAFC versus. LA Galaxy, El Trafico. It's gonna be a live one, man. I'll see y'all there. I'm out.